Yeshua is the living word and the joy and rejoicing of my heart, my heart. Yeshua is the living word. Shalom. I'm Neil and this is my wife, Jane. Shalom. We're the hosts of Jewish Jewels and we welcome you to our Fort Lauderdale living room. The topic of today's program could change your life literally forever. Mm -hmm. Jamie's scarf is a hint about the topic, but we'd like to begin by visiting some traditional Jewish men in Jerusalem and then move on to some Messianic believers at the synagogue we attend in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. <laughs> Today's program is about praise and worship. Jamie, what's praise? Praise is an expression of approval or esteem. Usually we think of it in terms of our relationships with people. Mm -hmm. For example, we praise someone when they've done a really good job. You and I praise the kids when they've gotten a good Get a report, good report card. card. Right. But the one who's really worthy of our praise is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that we were created to praise and worship God. We were created to please Him, to give Him pleasure. In praise and worship, we express our love for God. There's a Psalm, uh, Psalm 50, 23 tells us that whoever offers praise glorifies, glorifies God. God. Right, and the most frequent word we use for glorifying God, praising God is hallelujah, and that's yes. what your scarf is all about. Yeah, I loved it that I found this scarf with that universal word. You know, it's more universal probably Even than Coca-Cola, Coca -Cola, much right. more important now, word. <laughs> praise is the basis of Israel's choosing, and here it is in Isaiah, one of the Jewish prophets, verse 21 of chapter 58. This people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. There are many different words that are translated as praise. Mm -hmm. Psalm 34 has a bunch of them. Why don't you share those with us, Jamie? Listen to this. This is rich. I will bless Barach, the Lord, at all times. Mm -hmm. His praise, Tehillah, shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast, Halal, in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O magnify, Gadal, the Lord with me, and let us exalt, room, his name together. You know what that tells me, Neil? The Hebrew language is so rich in words of praise to God. No accident. I mean, the Hebrew is God's language. Of course, there are well, lots of words about praise. Let's go over what some of those mean. Now, okay. the Barach word, the first one, you, Barach, to kneel, as we would do before a king, uh, acknowledging his greatness. Wait a minute. That's Jewish? To kneel? Yeah, the last time I looked it was Tehillah. <laughs> uh, that's literally the Hebrew word that we call Psalms. Right. It's to sing songs or to verbally express to God praise. Mm -hmm. uh, halal is uh, to shout or to cry that's out loud. Where that's where hallelujah. hallelujah comes from that okay. word. And then so you when say, we say hallelujah, we're not supposed to say hallelujah. We're supposed to say it very loud. Very loud. Okay. Very, and then gadal is to, to magnify, to make great, to ascribe greatness mm -hmm. to God. And the last one you mentioned was room, room, room mm -hmm. which literally means height or highest, and it's to magnify God, to extol Him. Yeah, there are more Hebrew words for praise, but we don't have time to mention all of them today. I do want to mention ranan, which means to cry out, shout for joy, or give a, a ringing cry. This Hebrew word really helps us understand that the highest mood of the Jewish concept of praise and worship is joy. Praise the praise, it's 